Hi guys, welcome to today's quick tip. And I just want to quickly talk about setting up inputs and outputs on Pro Tools and also look, sort of looking at how we can batch inputs and outputs together to kind of speed up our setting up and progress on Pro Tools. I've set up a blank session today and the reason being is I just want to show an example of what can happen. Um, one of the cool things I quite like about Pro Tools is say I'm recording, um, I'm going to set up for a drum recording session. So uh, the first thing we do is press Shift, Command and N and that sets up the new track set options and I'm going to type in 16, so which means we create 16 mono audio tracks. If I press Create now, I'm going to change over now to the mixer view, so Command and Equals. And if we look at the input and output of these, we've got all the tracks have basically gone from 1 to 16. And this is what Pro Tools always does, is it actually looks at what session, what tracks are available and what tracks haven't been assigned. So if I say I wanted to now to add another four tracks, say there was um, drum tracks are now done, and we want to add like bass, guides, um, some guitars and some vocals, um, so I put in four tracks for that. What should happen is that the inputs should actually carry on from 16 and go 17, 18, 19, and 20. Press enter. As we can see, these new tracks here, um, so 17, 18, 19, 20, they're all kind of, they're all sort of set up, which is brilliant. Um, what I'd like to do now, so if I shift and click, I've highlighted all these tracks. And what we can do, the first thing I want to show you is if you wanted to change the input so they all became the same same option, I could hold down the shift option, I click the track then, and I can put say I wanted to go to track all the inputs for track one. Shift option and then click one and say I change that to two, it'll all change to two. Now if I did this the same again, and if I just held down shift option and command, this will actually make each track look at the previous one and add on another set of tracks. So if I do the first track will be track one, second will be track two. And so then you can do that and go through. So that's an easier way of sort of setting up your tracks. So shift option do all the same tracks um, and shift option command will cascade bits and pieces. Thanks guys, thanks very much for watching. If there's anything, any feedback, I'd love to hear from you. If there's anything you want me to look at as well, let me know and I'll do a quick video for you on that as well. The reason I want to get this video out quickly is because this is actually kind of the foundation and basis for a lot of other videos that are going to come on later in the in series.